So this one? Oh, there is a hole here. Very nice. There are some broken crystals. Okay. Uh, oh wow, what is this? Okay, this is... This is going to be interesting. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, ah, uh, ow, ow, ow. Oh wait, the Rebek is, oh, okay, yeah, he's, he's here. Well, uh, a little bit down. I have no idea how to get down though. Oh wait, through here I will get down. Casually breaks legs. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that is scary. Uh, wait, 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 what? Uh, what, what is that thing in the middle? What is that big uh, black hole? Black hole? Like, is it a black hole, actually? Hmm. Oh, you wait, wait, wait. This is a uh, rebag. Okay, okay. I, 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 w I was completely. I missed it a little bit. The, the big finding of him. Oh, you launched. Uh, that's great. Great job, you. I'm not going to jump into the black hole, thank you. Uh, wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lot of history here, it's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the other say it, right? I'm afraid of space. <laughs> Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. So this was the super scared dude that, that uh, didn't want to, to fly anywhere. Uh, I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh, that would be... yeah. I learned something, did we? Oh cool, um, what is it? Actually, never mind, okay, that was... Okay, if you do find... If you do find, learn something about new about the Nomai, though, I would love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean. Thank you, I will drink. Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um... Not a black hole. Okay, that's a black hole indeed. Uh, that's very no. Which is unfortunate because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There is also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern, Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if, um, if you learn anything about the gnome, I would love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. Okay. Me, I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all Timberheart's got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Noma history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, 
I'm your Harthian, or um, I have some clone knowledge of them, I mean, so uh, maybe I can help? Uh, okay. Okay. Nothing then. Oh, we can refuel the jetpack. Nice. Okay. What is this? The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. Ooh, cool. This is so cool, actually. This is actually so cool. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I go here now. What is here? The crossroads. So I guess that's what that means, because they cross, okay. Uh, <clears throat> be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Not Quantum Knowledge. Ooh, that's... wow, okay. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs... Quantum Moon? Ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Okay. Uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me a moment. Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. What is this? Oh wow! We can we can walk up here. Uh, no, I'm not going to go there. Maybe I can go here. Okay. Uh... Oh wait, actually that's... Yeah, that's... Ow. That's not going to happen. Uh... Oh wait, no, 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 no. Ow. Okay, I killed myself. Welp. 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 So, okay, so we see once again the same... Uh, the same memories and the same mask. Why do you keep dying? I died only twice, come on. I mean, th and the first time it wasn't even my fault, the first time the star exploded. Well, it was a supernova. You can see Giant's Deep, and what is that blue thing? What is that blue thing? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. You know the ship is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but a really powerful death trap. What? You suddenly care about safety now? Okay, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay. Uh, Brittle Hollow, where are you? There you are. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Well, I was going too quickly. 
Yay! I was going too quickly. <laughs> Apparently. I will park here. Okay, so... I need to repair everything, yay! Imagine not being able to fly a spaceship, right? Like, jeez. Come on, get your get your ish together. Uh, what else is is damaged? Nothing else, really. Uh, no, not not here. Oh, okay. No, I already repaired everything. Okay, I that was less. Damage than I thought it would be. That's less damage than I thought. An identified signal nearby. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? Frequency discovered quantum fluctuations, signal it identified tower shard. So this is tower shard apparently, okay. Bloom, Felix and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum matter. Okay, so this is the same as the rock in the in the in the observatory. Like it was a rock that, that when you was weren't looking looking at it, it moved. So this is the same then? The only other object we observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and these groves are related? What moon? In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on the Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Jan's Deep, Timberheart and the Hourglass Twins. I suppose there are other shards like this one. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? What was that? Did did the uh, okay? I, I I guess uh, I guess the meteorite just landed on our heads. Okay. I think the star went red. Uh. No, I don't. I, I think it's just night. Beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend these steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay, so I need to descend these steps. Uh, These red balls? I, I think that was... Uh, uh, a meteorite, like, see? This, mo this moon is uh, throwing uh, m throwing uh, meteorites at us. So I think it's, it's this. Uh, see? Uh, such as that one, okay. I will I will just run away quickly because, uh, yeah, I, I don't... Oh wait, there is more information here. Oh well, I might die. Uh, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about, wander about freely. The entire plant, roots, and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see, and I never see them move. Is that even possible? 
If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Bloom is right, the trees do move. I confess that I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alter alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Okay, so this is before the, the other note. That rock is unusual for another reason too, Touch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Would it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? I really like... Um, I really like the no my text. They they sound so smart and and and, and stuff. So let's check these trees then. This tree is here. Not anymore. There are two trees here now. The rock is there. No trees. Well, one one of them is. Okay. Very interesting. See now now it's completely empty. And now there is there is a shard there. Now it's there. Interesting. Very nice. Very very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So uh what is this southern observatory to the south entrance to the tower of quantum knowledge uh what if i do this this deletes it this but it's uh, up there which doesn't do anything okay and this uh, sends us down Whoa, we are falling! We are falling! Okay, there we go. Okay, I already read that. Uh, I have already been here. I don't. I don't think I can get to the to the Southern Observatory. So I will just go to the. No, wait. The and do the quantum knowledge so i will go to the southern observatory because there was another path up here that goes to the southern observatory okay so uh it was here right yeah it was here okay uh that is super scary jumping like this oh my god Super scary. Uh, I'm sorry, where does this go now? Okay, uh, I'm scared. This goes to nothingness. And this goes to nothingness too. What do you mean? I mean, maybe it, it sends us somewhere over there. Okay, I see. We have to... Oof, okay, that was... That was really, really close. I almost didn't catch it. Oh, it sent us over here. Nice. Interesting. I... Oh god, okay. I, I got completely confused for a second. No! No! Okay, ah! Okay, well... Okay, we're dead. Um... Wait, what? I fell, okay. Ah. Yay, my ship is 31, no wait, 21 kilometers. That is indeed amazing. What is this? Okay, let's get here. Oh. 
I think this is... Uh... Yes, we can walk here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh wow, that's oh, that is super weird. Look at that. That is so weird. Okay. Ah oh, no, what did I do? You came out of a white hole. That sounds kinky. Or does it? I don't know. Oh, oxygen, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, this is glass, right? Yep, okay. Uh, oh, there is something here. Ow. Black holes lead to white holes. Okay, so it's... It's compensated. The color... Uh, fluc no, the color... Uh, how do you call it now? Uh, color... Spectrum. The color spectrum is compensated. Because black is the is the combination of all the colors. And... Wait, no. White is the combination of all the colors. And black is the absence of any color. So it gets compensated. This way. Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to the brittle hollow. Wait, so that's why it's... That's why it's black and white, because black, it uh, sucks all the colors in, and white, it uh, it it uh, ex ex exposes all the colors out. That's super cool, actually. Very nice. Uh, if you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Nice. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with this, its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Interesting. What is this? Pick up. Uh Okay. Uh I'm sorry, what now? Okay, we are rotating now. Does it mean that... Uh, Alright, okay. So, uh, in theory... Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow, well, we are here. We are here. Back where this... The moon is, is bombarding us. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's how it works. Return warp status charge. Step on the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. So we can return if we wanted to. Nice. Departure time, arrival time. Okay, so it takes one... Wait, 0 0.0001 millisecond. Uh, no, second. I, I don't know what uh, measure is that. I, I guess seconds, but I don't know. Uh... Wait, departure time is after arrival time. Okay. Okay. What is this? Feldspar, spare jetpack fuel. Oh, it's for Feldspar. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. 
I checked with my little scout. I do too use it. Horn pearls. Yeah, burnt marshmallow. <laughs> the scout integrity reading says this place of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel is still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, whatever you are reading this note, I'm sure you got bigger, bigger problems. Interesting. So, this is, there, is there anything else here around this warp? Mm. No, it doesn't doesn't seem there is. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything. Doesn't seem to be anything. The Hanging City! Oh, yes, amazing, yay! Okay, we cannot go to the Hanging City then. Huh. Clary! Uh, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just worked here from the White Hall Station, on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hall. Our design worked. We have successfully recre recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we what we have built works, uh, then I'm delighted. I know we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Hey, Air 3 Party. I, I remember you, you are from uh, Safe in a World. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you for all you do. That's amazing. Uh, there, wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Uh, I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me he there, we can run a full di diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, al although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, I also jump through black holes very often. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. It's all good. Okay, so what does this do? Oh, nice. So we we not only have the scrolls, but now we also have the... These uh, projection stones. Uh, thank you so much for the support, and I can't believe you remember my weird username. It, don't worry, like, uh, it's... I mean, it's it was yesterday, like, my... My my memory is bad, but not so bad, so, you know. Maybe I should be proud of myself for remembering, but I, I try to think that my memory is good. You keep up the amazing work. You're amazing. Uh, okay, so, translate. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent. Poke and they... Wait, what? Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing on the White Hall Station. Interesting. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but... Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every way, every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, the, uh, roughly 100,000th of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Okay, this could be as well, like who knows. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can be accurate. How can I know my arrival on Brittle Hollow before the he or she ever stepped into the teleporter. The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. <laughs> Yay. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Uh, Poke, a spy is confident the reading is inaccurate. She's currently helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We are designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Oak, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. 
come here at once. We, you need to see this. Okay, they found something interesting, it seems. I can't wait to find it. So, we need to go to the Ember Twins Equator, I guess. 